The starting lineup for the Warriors. Number three, D. Evans. Number five, K. Chris Holm. Number 23, B. Thompson. Number 20, Q. Fields. And number 12, L. Wright. And now, let's put our hands together, make some noise for your starting Buccaneers. Number four, senior, Tony Jones. Number 10, senior, Rowan Kirkland! Number 14, senior Braxton Lucas! Number 5, sophomore Hugh J. Young! And number 23, sophomore, Murray Wilson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one more time for your Buccaneers. From Bridges Prep High School, it's our WHHI Game of the Week, presented by Summit Services Heating and Air. Your leader in home performance services in the Low Country. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Living, Larry Jackmont, Jeremy Pope with you. Bridges Prep in white, Whale Branch in black. We're underway, Bridges Prep with the tip. There's a three, and it's in and out. Attempted by number five, QJ Young. Put back up and it goes down. Your starters, Tony Jones, QJ Young, Sheridan Kirkland, Braxton Lucas, and Amari and Wilson for Prep. On the other side, KJ Chisholm, Laurent Wright, David Evans, Quishon Fields, Bradford Thomas for Whale Branch. 7.30 to go in the opening quarter. Again, a reminder, Summit Services Heating and Air is your leader in home performance services in the Low Country, and they're the presenting sponsor of WHHI Sports Weekends, only here on WHHI Sports TV. That shot goes from the free throw line, as putting it down, and putting it down well, is number 23, Bradford Thomas forward. Puts the other one down, and it is now a 2-2 tie. We've got a whistle, 7.29 to go. Kevin, what are some keys on uh, this side of the game? What, what are your overall keys? We'll start with that. Early impressions, the two guys were in number 23. Michael Jordan's number looked really good. 2-2. Two, two. Bradford Thomas and Mr. Wilson. There's, oh, the alley-oop, and put it down, beautifully done for number 12, Laron Wright. We've got a whistle and a foul, 7.14 to go in the first. It's out of bounds. Bridges Prep with a basketball. So the OB and taking a look at Whale Branch here, coming out with a lot of intensity. Here to start this one. Bridges prep going underneath, putting that one up. It's a go for QJ Young. They're attacking, man. I mean, I like the way we see guards boxing out and getting out the glass. Looks like it's gonna be one of those Windex games, whoever gets it the most clean. Whale Branch comes in 15 and six overall, 10 and three in the region, second in A region seven, eight and four at home, seven and two on the road, averaging 47.3 given up, and averaging 61.8 scored. They've got a two-game winning streak on the other side for uh, Bridges Prep. 
Dave won 61-55, or actually lost 61-55 the other night. So they are now 13 and 10 on the year. Six and seven, fifth in A Region Seven. Two and one a neutral environment. Four and seven on the road. Eight and two at home, averaging about 55 points a game and uh, playing really well. So far this season, this should be a very competitive and very hard fought battle as it's 5-4 here in the early going with Antoine Wade and Darius Brockington, your two head coaches. That pass is gonna go out of bounds here at the Bridges Prep Caffeinasium. Oh, it's Justin Jarrett, our buddy. 6.43 to go, JJ is here. We saw him earlier on camera. Senior night here at Bridges Prep. There's a three from the right wing, a little bit too strong, and the rebound goes to Whale Branch. They are in the black. Bridges Prep in white. Wow. Nice pass, putting that one up and in from the left side is Whale Branch. Beautifully done, and now Bridges on the other end, getting it quickly, six to five. There's a three, left side, ring around the rim and out. Reminder that our three-point play, courtesy of Mickelson, knowing their community and clients as they help navigate life's trials. Ball looks to go out of bounds, as touching it there for Bridges Prep was Amarian Wilson. That's a name that should sound familiar. Absolutely. A lot of folks from this low country area. 6.03 to go, 6.02 and counting. Beautiful pass inside. Trying to put that one up is Bradford Thomas. Let's get some keys from the Whale Branch side of things and what they're looking forward and doing in this ball game. Uh, their players to watch are gonna be KJ Chisholm, LaRon Wright, David Evans, Bradford Thomas, who we're seeing here, and Quayshawn Fields. Uh, they're looking for those forward on forward swing guy matchups. Bradford Thomas right here ranks third in Region 7 for rebounding, 8.3 boards per game. KJ Chisholm with 3.7 assists runs that point. Quayshawn Fields 3.3 steals per game. Uh, coach wants him to control the glass, no second chance points. Again, this looks like a Windex game. Whoever owns that glass and gets it clean might be the one to win. Uh, coach also says the team is comprised of mostly juniors and usually start only one senior. The team was ranked in the top 10 for three consecutive weeks. Go get it, boys. Six to five, he also says practices and games have been going well. Teams faced adversity due to injuries, stayed steadfast. Great atmosphere, family environment. Battle tested early in the year, and they're showcasing themselves really well as grabbing the rebound is number 20, Quayshawn Fields off the miss. He's the point guard senior at a buck 80. 5.54 remaining. I tell you, Coach Fields, got a great name, Antoine Wade. If we were friends, That's I'd call great. him. If we, he's my buddy, I'd be calling him Jet. Yeah. That's a Dwayne right? <laughs> For the kids, that's Dwayne Wade back when he was really fast and he played with, you know, someone younger Shaq. 5.54 to go is Thomas again back at the line. Whale Branch won the first matchup 50 to 49. They lost the second matchup in January 61 to 50. The first one was in November. This is the third matchup between these two teams, the first year of this rivalry. That's a little bit too strong. And the rebound will go to Matthew Torres. Torres gonna kick it across the floor. QJ Young is gonna get a little bit of contact as he was near the baseline. That's the hand check, it's a good call by James Williams. Uh, we'll see if we get a set play here. On the other side, first year together for the Whale Branch, uh, rather the Bridges Pret Buccaneers is after he's way off the mark. And an adjustment says Brockington trying to get everybody's personalities to mesh. There's a deep oh! shot. Oh! Put it down for three. A Mickelson three point play for Whale Branch. And it's 10 to 5. There's a Whale Branch player on the floor, but getting back up. Bridges Prep throws it out of bounds. They're looking to get to their ultimate goal, try to win a state title at some point, turning into a winning program that can win games, most importantly. Give athletes an opportunity to go to college. Play at the next, next level. Oh, There's an alley oop. Not an alley oop, but a swing around the back pass and a layup. And it's 10 7 with 5 18 remaining in the corner. QJ Young looks like Jason Kidd. Zaire Nelson, KJ Chisholm, players to watch for BP. Put that one up. Not going to go for Whale Branch, but there was a whistle near the free throw line. Amari and Wilson, a key player to watch, and stance for him. 
14.6, uh, rather 14 points, 16 rebounds, four blocks. The keys, be aggressive, be disciplined, be ready, and be a team for Darius Brockington and his Buccaneers of Bridges Prep. Meanwhile, at the line is Quashon Fields, the point guard, senior of Buck Aiden. And it's 11-7 with five minutes, 11 seconds to go in corner number one of the guys game of the week presented by Summit Services Heating and Air only on WHHI Sports TV, part of WHHI Sports Weekends. Four to seven, Saturdays, Sundays, every night at midnight after that. Second free throw goes up and in, and it is 11 to eight, rather 12-11. I beg your pardon, 12 to seven, I'm talking too fast. 12 to seven, 5.04 to go. Putting that one up, not getting it to go. Is Whale Branch's opponent, Bridges Prep. It's going back the other way. We've got a whistle with 4.56 to play. Wonder if uh, QJ Young, we watched some Ricky Rubio. Kid's got a Euro step. Whale Branch with the basketball now. On the offensive side, Bridges Prep on D. 4.47 to go. That ball is going to be corralled nicely by. The Warriors wow. driving inside, putting that one up, not getting it to go, is number 20, Quashon Fields. And here's Prep. Ball tip, gonna go out of bounds. 4.33 to play here in the opening quarter. Reminder, coming up at halftime, Kevin and I will have our first half thoughts. We'll also hear from Jessica Surrett and Michael Lynn of Stokes Toyota Buford. They're the sponsor, your friendly community dealer for a truly exceptional experience. Ball loose and corralled nicely. There by QJ Young, number five and on the drive, and the whistle. It was QJ Young, putting that one up a little bit off the right side of the backboard, and we have a chance at two at the line for QJ Young. Marcus, you've been to Europe. You ever see a step like that? I can't say that I have in Europe. It's maybe an American pastime. <laughs> been to Paris, been to a couple places in Germany. Been to Brussels, Belgium. Well, you gotta go to Springfield, Massachusetts to find the home of basketball. That's true. Hope to get there one day soon. Actually, I've been to one place in Germany, Munich. I've been to two places in Austria, Vienna yeah. and Salzburg. Ah. 4.15 to go. Driving inside is Whale Branch. They have a 12-8 lead, 4-10 remaining. Nice pass. Man. Great passing. I just love sharp, crisp passing as we got a whistle. James Williams is our head official for this matchup. I see you, WBK sign. I don't know what you mean yet, but I see you. Whale Branch with the ball. They've got a 12-8 lead. Bradford Thomas gives it off to number five, KJ Chisholm, it's stolen away. Going across the floor very quickly is number two, Zaire yep. Nelson. He was the player to watch. We have a whistle. <laughs> Joining James Williams officiating this game are Brian Shaw and Jeffrey Bolds. We've seen Jeffrey and James a few times this season. First time seeing Brian. That's a total of 81 years officiating. Reminder, officials are needed. Go to highschoolofficials.com. Lots of ways to help yourself by being an official. Great physical activity. You can earn a little extra income. Have a great Rolodex or uh, extra contacts in your cell phones. Be an official today. Make the right choice. Highschoolofficials.com. 3.33 to go in the quarter. And at the line for Bridges is number two, Zaire Nelson. Clank the first one. Look at the people stacked up in this gym. This is nuts. Again, we saw Justin Jarrett on camera and moments before the game via our feed on Loco with Loco Sports. As driving inside. Oh, oh, get that out of here! Are you kidding me? Quayshon Fields got absolutely rejected. Three, knock it down. Zaire Nelson off the rejection from Zaire Butler earlier. That's stolen away. 12-11, 3.05 to go. Wow. Driving hardest number five. 
Cue Jay Young. There's a whistle. He's going to head to the line. Home team is showing up. Let's hear from Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth. Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth, uniting the community to promote positive choices. Reminder again, knowing their community and clients as they help navigate life's trials, it's Mickelson. Reminder, you'll have the MVP of the ball game later on. Talk with the winning head coach as well. That's brought to you by Island Tire, the longest serving tire retailer and auto repair on Hilton Head and Island Tradition. Here goes Whale Branch. 12-11, they lead. 2.55 remaining, driving, and that pass was sharp, but it was stolen by Zaire Nelson. Off the pass from number five, KJ Chisholm. 2.48 to go, looks like we're gonna have a timeout. We'll take it with them. Be right back on the guys' game of the week, only on WHHI Sports TV, presented by Summit Services, Heating and Air. Back in a moment. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Q.J. Young, 13 points, 7.7 .7 assists, nearing double-double status as that pass from Torres, a little round the back and a little bit off target. Yeah, that's on average per game. The kid's having a year. 2.40 remaining in the first quarter. A blazing fast first quarter. Let me know if you ever heard that one from me before. 2.30 to go now in the first stanza, stolen away. BP with plenty of numbers. Put that up and in for number five, QJ Young off the right side, and then nearly taking one of our officials' head off was the basketball, but Zaire Nelson was able to corral it. That was going right for the dome. Good thing that Zaire Nelson was in the right spot at the right time. I tell you, our, our camera guy, Jeremy wow. Pope, almost part of the action on this one up there in the crow's nest. 2.19 to go in the first quarter. Nice pass and a little contact. Not able to get it to go down. Is number 22 for Whale Branch. Kevin Jenkins, 5.8 per. He's a 59% free throw shooter. Chance for the kid to show what he does best. Thank you, sir. And he does have a great first name, if I may say so. It's not mine, but it's yours. I like it. It's working for me. What is that, highlighter night for the cheerleaders? Is that a highlighter look? Um, I wouldn't say highlighter. I would say neon. Neon, I like that. I don't know what the WK sign means, but we see you, Pink Pants. We see you. <laughs> it's WBK, actually. WBK, what could it possibly mean? Uh, Whale Branch something, maybe. Oops, I like it. 205 remaining. Bridges prep with a basketball. 13-12, oh. that is from way downtown, and it missed off the rim. It's going back the other way to WB. 13-12, 152 to go, fighting inside, putting that one up in his whale branch, and it's number 23, Bradford Thomas. Here's a drive by number 11, Heyman Arroyo, and a whistle as Arroyo tried to get inside the paint, and he got some contact. He's going to the line to shoot a pair. It's an animated block call. Cayman Arroyo. A very quick key again for Darius Brockington. He says the key players are the starters. Just have to play our best. 
what I like is that a big can pass, and I'm seeing again from the two kids wearing 23, that's Jordan's number, or LeBron's number if you like, before he was number six, which is Russell's number. Uh, they're big as they can do it all. I love that. Darius also wants folks to just come out, support the great program into the team that can compete at its best. 14-13, one minute, 44 seconds to go in quarter number one. Reminder that folks, uh, there will be a new gym coming up for Bridges Prep as well as other athletic facilities here on this campus. 144 to go, it's gonna be in the stages of being built here in just a second or in, a, in the next year, I should say. Got a little bit distracted by the one-on-one -on -one call, right, Kev? It is a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Yeah, I tell you, they know how to cook it here in the cafetorium. The heat is up, the fans are here. I'm excited for them to get bigger stands, because the reality is, this town's gonna fill them. What a great environment. We certainly want to thank, certainly, Jim Reynolds. We want to thank Darius Brockington. We also certainly want to thank the ladies and and the staff of the ladies basketball team as well. Been a fun night so far. It's a nice little atmosphere they built. Our first time in the in the prep. I'm liking it. All right, make 15, one. 13. Make one, you get another. Odie Davis, Dustin Kuntz, the coaches for the girls team. Darius Brockington leading the guys team. Again, we heard Darius, uh, we heard Dustin show off his pipes announcing the starting lineups for the guys game as he did the girls and tell you what he's got some pipes he's got the goods 16 13 a minute 32 remaining in the quarter ball tipped and corralled nicely bridges prep on a drive nice spin put that one up not gonna go but driving hard was qj young number five and he's heading to the line Give me an NBA comp after a move like that. That that was pretty great. That that was kind of similar, I think, to a move that LeBron James would have made years ago, busting some ankles. I mean, I'd compare him to like a John ja Morant, you know, the kind of guy that can actually play off contact and still finish. Again, keys for Coach Brockington's team: be aggressive, be disciplined, be ready. B A team. I didn't emphasize the A there, but it is capitalized as I'm reading it off the card. If you can find them, get yourself the A team. Darius Brockington, a fine head coach, it seems. And there's a little contact inside is Desmond Locke, number one, touching the basketball deep in the paint. 119 to play. I like the coaches fired up, but I like even more that his captains are settling them down. You know, every possession matters. James is going to come over and make sure they got the call right. But uh, I, I just love composure moments, especially when coach, who dishes out all year, you know, is, is recognizing that his players understand this is a big moment. Again, Whale Branch with a 50-49 win back in November. Bridges Prep returned the favor, 61-50 back in January. Series tied at a game apiece. So and congratulations to the girls who ended up getting their first win. They are one and two against Whale Branch on the season with the first three games of this rivalry currently underway. It looks like we've got a timeout. 119 to go. I think. Well, maybe not. They didn't signal that. I think they're just trying to get the call right. Um, I always like it when they get the call right over, you know, over guessing. But uh, absolutely. Well, I also like if you're a young player watching this game, the way you interact with the officials really is through your captains and then through your coach. Uh, there are things called correctable errors. So, like we had one of the games last week. If someone calls you for a foul and it wasn't your foul, tell coach, tell your captain. They'll get it right in the book. You'll you know not have to face that uh, potential getting fouled out of the game. Sometimes you take one for a teammate. By the way, if you've got low fouls. The point being, if you've got an issue with the refs, go through your captains, go through your coach. Well, I, well, it was not a timeout. I'll mention that our timeout sponsor is Kevin Severe of State Farm for all your home and auto insurance needs. Kevin Severe of State Farm. He's a nice guy. I like Kevin. One yeah. fifteen to go. Yeah, great name. Whale Branch driving inside, putting that one up a little bit too strong, trying to get the rebound. And they get will the have a jump ball, looks like, as stealing it away was number five, QJ Young. I think there's about a million coaches that would all just say the same thing. Grab the ball. Who wants it more? Go get it. 
with the basketball for Whale Branch is Bradford Thomas. There's a leaner, a yep. balance leaner on the rim and in. And it's 18-15 in yep. favor of Whale Branch, under a minute to go. Assistant head coach for Whale Branch is Wilbert Bryant. Yep. And that will count, one more coming. No, no, offensive. Okay. He, that 49 was. 49 seconds to go, yep. my apologies. That's all good, James got it right. The feet were down and uh, that's, I tell you, sometimes it feels like football, but that's a win. WB with the basketball, going across the floor, uh -oh, uh -oh. and that was yep. big time. Knock a guy down as Matthew Torres hits the linoleum. What yeah. does linoleum stand for, Kevin? Uh, Flaxseed and lint, some kind of oil? Yeah. All right. That's correct. The things you learn at Bridges Prep. Linoleum, kids. Millennials grew up on it. They learned how to walk on linoleum floors. Big in the 80s. At the Caffeinasium. I'm back. They're serving up the goods. You should take a look at some of the cafeteria with the lights yep. on. Drive it inside. Put yep. that one up and in. Count it. For number five, QJ Young. He is at a huge corner. 34 seconds to go. There's a steal. 18-17, there's a drive and a rejection as QJ Young hits the linoleum. Man. 29.5 to go. I love all of this. This is great, isn't it? QJ Young's been a huge part of this Buccaneer team on both ends, but particularly offensively. It's, it's just basketball the way it's supposed to be played. It nice looks and good. hard, physical, 13.3 points for QJ Young, 6.9 assists per game, 2.8 steals per game. And the 13.3 is the per game average as well. 18-18, got a young... 29.5 seconds to go. Yeah, coach is having the conversation. Uh, I like that on the baseline, we have a young camera person behind the person in the red shirt, maybe a future WHI employee. We also have Never know. Far right, you see the youngest fan, a baby. There's a nice rebound. The Buccaneers have it. There's a three. Nope. Attempted by number 11, Cayman Arroyo. This is a really and hard a game to officiate. Long. This is a lot of back and forth. You can see that we, 20 seconds left, taking a lot of shots here as we're in the bonus. But, uh, huh, high-level basketball. You are not kidding. I'll take high-level basketball for a thousand, Alex. <laughs> or is it now? Is Ken Jennings put that one up and in? Also, Blossom, right? Mayim Bialik, Blossom. Yes, Ma Mayim Bialik, and thank you for the assist. I couldn't think of her name. Whoa! 19.4 to go. Mayim does the celebrity editions of Jeopardy. Rest in peace, Alex Trebek. 17.6 seconds to play. 1918 in favor of Whale Branch. I like the attacking on the boards. I like the boxing out. I like their playing through contact. Wright is a 61% free throw shooter. 17.6 seconds to play. Averaging 8.4 points per game. 18% from three as well. Small forward junior, 6'1". And a buck 44, put that down. Banks open for the boys. 13 seconds left, stolen away by Whale Branch. Gliding inside, put that one up, no. It was attempted by number 11 for Whale Branch. That is Ja'Kai Pusha, senior guard. He's going to the line with 8.6 to play. 20 to 18 in favor of WB over BP. Missed the first. Atmosphere in this place is nuts. Oh, you got that right. We got three more of these. 2018 Whale Branch. 8.6 to go. And that one clanks in. 21-18, seven seconds left. Bridges Prep gonna drive, put one up, gonna fall short with 2.7 seconds to go as that jumper was attempted by QJ Young. 
And QJ Young going back to his favorite spot on the floor, it seems. That's the blue free throw line on the linoleum. They got Put that down. They got five fouls, they're using them. 21 to 19. Second goes down, it's 21 to 20. 2.2 seconds to go. And that'll end the first quarter. 21-20, Whale Branch over Bridges Prep at the end of one. It's the guys' game of the week. Presented by Seven Services Seating and Air. Second quarter next on WHHI Sports TV. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Do you know that the amount of tire that's actually making contact with the road is about the same size as a slice of watermelon? And that's all you have to keep you safe. It makes sense to have the best like Michelin. That's why Allen Tire has been proudly selling Michelin tires since 1978. At Allen Tire, we don't think of it as just a set of tires. You can trust us to be thinking about the safety of your car and more importantly, what's inside. Mickelson Law Firm is in the heart of downtown Bluffton at 214 Bluffton Road and is experienced in legal matters pertaining to real estate transactions. Responsible for thousands of successful real estate closings here in the Lowcountry, owners and partners Tiffany and Ryan Mickelson place an emphasis on getting to know their clients and guiding them through the process. Your home purchase is the largest investment you'll make in your lifetime. Choose Mickelson Law Firm to help you every step of the way and in between. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Giacomo, Jeremy Pope with you. 21 to 20, Whale Branch with a lead over Bridges Prep here at the Bridges Prep Buccaneer Caffeinasium. And the basketball goes to BP. They're in white, WB in black, gold, and purple. There's a three, right wing, too strong. A little bit of blue, of course, for Bridges Prep as well as you see that glazed around the, the linoleum and the uniforms as there's a whistle on the far end. 7.37 to go in regulation. A reminder that Stokes Toyota of Buford is your friendly community dealer for a truly exceptional experience. Coming up at the half, Kevin and I will have our first half thoughts. We'll also hear from Jessica Surrett as that shot goes off to the left. Whale Branch with a rebound. Michael Lynn joins Jessica. And the leaner won't go as they talk about things going on at Stokes Toyota of Buford. That's coming up on the halftime show here shortly. Stolen away. And Whale Branch is going to not be able to convert that into two as Jalon Lee missed the lay-in and quickly at the other end putting one up is number three, Matthew Torres. And he doesn't get it to go, but Torres is already at the line. I'm sorry I'm focusing on officiating, but leading up to that, you saw the bobble of the ball and the multiple steps. You know why you can't travel when you're bobbling? I don't. To travel, you have to have a possession of the ball. Well, there you go. I did know that, but yeah, I know. Just, wanted to, just wanted to humor folks. You're my teammate. You always play along. 7.07 to go. You want to talk about the hair in this game? The hair is definitely looking good. I mean, we have seen some excellent World Above world above the Air's style in this one. We've seen some great hair all season. You That's the me? truth. That's, but man, I mean, oh, man. And we still have another week of basketball left. It's going to be fun. 7.07 to go in the first half. That oh, one misses. Wow. And I'm talking girls and guys. Yeah, the totally. hair game is on point, folks. Bridges prep with the basketball. 21-20, they trail. Great defense by Whale Branch. They're sticking to Bridges prep like Elmers. Here's QJ Young driving. Going to take a jumper. Oh, yep. go! Put it down. Oh, go! That's OHGO. Ring around the rim, and it went down on a second chance. 23 21. There's a three from deep. Too strong. And the rebound goes. To number three, Matthew Torres. Wow. And it's stolen away, stolen back away. Racing down the floor is BP. Numbers, put that layup up and in. Cayman Arroyo makes it 25-21. Off a nice feed. 
6.09 remaining and counting. Now 6.08. Pass went to the free throw line and we had a whistle. And yes, that is the first time that I've ever said on a broadcast in my many years of doing football, basketball, baseball, and hockey, and golf, O-H-G-O, -O, on a call. It's about time. That's right. Just coined a term. Just like when I said sprightness in college. You made it, buddy. Quayshawn Fields, physical comp. Rookie Kevin Durant. Ooh, I like it. You know, like fresh off Texas? Yeah. I mean, and, he, and folks, he did not play at Oklahoma City. He was in Seattle that first year. They called him the Slim Reaper and he didn't like it. Now they just call him KD. Quashon Fields at the line. Nice shot. 11.4 points per game, 5.7 boards, 63% free thrower, 21% from three. He's a senior point guard, 180 pounds. That jumper goes on the other end for Matthew Torres. Matthew Torres lighting it up. Nice pass going into Bradford Thomas. Bradford back it down with the left hand, puts it up, didn't get it to go. And Bradford Thomas making some stuff happen, averaging 8.8 .8 points per game, 7.8 rebounds. I mean, he's having a studly game already. I love the way he throws around his body. I like the way he can pass. Really gets his teammates involved. Plays with his head up. Exceptionally high basketball IQ. Got it at the line. Came in Arroyo. 9.5 points per game, 55% free thrower, and 56% from three. On the Bridges prep side, one of the leaders in double figure categories. That doesn't go. 5.43 to go in the first half. 27-23. It's a Bridges prep lead over Whale Branch, and Bridges prep will have the basketball. Let's hear from Low Country Alliance in a second as we had a whistle, and it looks like a substitution coming in. Let's hear from Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth. Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth, uniting the community to promote positive choices. Another whistle near midcourt. Over and back. 5.39 to go. I'm gonna continue to put you to work, Kevin. How about Sports Addiction? Sports Addiction. Your Bluffton Bike Sports and Fitness Equipment Store for over 20 years. Sports Addiction. There's a drive inside. Nice deflection there by number five. Beautifully done by QJ Young. And going hard inside for Whale Branch was number 10, Gregory Gilbert, a junior center. Whale Branch with the basketball. 529 and counting remaining in the first half. Now 525. Bridges prep with it. Off the turnover tip. Beautiful catch there by Prep. Leaner doesn't go. And Prep's gonna get the rebound. Put back second chance. No. And the rebound goes to WB as we have a whistle. Pass intended for number 20, Quashon Fields. Yeah, Wright had a solid board there. I love the competition for possession. This is physicality at its finest, and I tell you what, both teams seem to mirror each other pretty well just looking at them in terms of size. I call it good coaching. Everybody knows how well, to use their body. That's true, too, for sure, but just looking at, the, at these guys, the athletes, they all are pretty well built. Well, you play defense with your feet, and just like we saw on that offensive foul where the defensive player wore it but got the possession, it's a contact sport. That's for sure. 5.08 remaining. 5.04 left in the quarter. Driving inside, putting that one up, not getting it to go is Desmond Locke. 4.59 to go, 27-23. It remains a BP lead. Again, they won the last matchup between these two, 61 to 50 back in January. That went way too strong. Whale Branch, a 50-49 winner back in November. As going hard to the hole was KJ Chisholm across the floor and into the front court. They got five fouls and they're all using them. 27-25, two point game. Possibility to tie it up if you can make your shots. 4.51 to go. Ring around the rim and in on the right side. Beautifully done by Whale Branch. As again, 
At the free throw line is KJ Chisholm, point guard junior, six foot, a buck 60. Got 21 blocks on the season. Wow. I like the way he wears the mask. Got it. You see a lot of masks in the NBA, broken 4 noses. 50 to go, absolutely. And Whale Branch sticking to Bridges prep like glue, and they're still able to rotate the basketball inside. That leader doesn't go. Third chance, maybe. Nope. Whale Branch going to corral the possession. That's an easy lay in if they can get it to go. They don't. Third chance, no. Will it be a fourth? No, and it's going to hit the baseline and go out of bounds. Well, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato. Yeah, those are the kind of plays to haunt your dreams. Four minutes, 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Now we're we're pretty libertine guys. We don't want to say anything unethical, but would you have called that trap back there a glue trap? A humane glue yeah, trap, maybe. but one that was oh boy! Splash! A Mickelson three from way outside. Knowing their community and clients as they help navigate life's trials. Another three-point play, and it's 30-27. Whale Branch with the lead. Bridges Brett misses on their end, not once but twice. Ball loose, and Whale Branch recovers. Ball loose, and it's stolen away by BP. The BP Bucks going inside, putting that one up. His number three, Matthew Torres. He won't get it to go, but he's going to the line for a pair. Yeah, these Pirates sure know how to raid. When they want to attack that basket, there's no stopping them. They're really, I mean, obviously he's working on his elbow here. Hopefully he's all right. We'll see it on the shot, but there's no fear. Absolutely not. I mean, the girls game, we saw a lot of underclass players. This is what it looks like when you have upperclassmen that know what to do. That was a great girls game as well. Oh, absolutely it was. Very exciting. If you haven't watched it yet, it's on YouTube, I hope. But uh, this level of basketball is remarkable. This is what varsity sports is all about. Team play, basketball IQ, intelligence, making your teammates better. And that's why I love the best is seeing, again, these two guys wearing 23 opposite sides of the ball possibly being the best players in their team and passing like champs. Amarian Wilson checks back in, speaking of number 23 for Bridges Prep. Darius Brockington's crew got that one to go. Antoine Wade and Wilbert Bryant, the coaches for Whale Branch. It's a long pass, there's a three, right corner, got it! Put it down! As it's a three-point play, courtesy of Mickelson. That is a three for number 12, LaRon Wright. Small forward junior, six foot one, a butt 44. Bridges had it on their side of the floor. It gets stolen away. And now over the top of KJ Chisholm goes a Whale Branch player, and we have a player down for Bridges Prep. That is number five. QJ Young, and he's able to get up. Thank goodness he was down on his stomach. He's hobbling. And, oh boy. Well, he's grimacing because of his knee. 3.33 to go. So he's got to come out of the game, and that's what James Williams is making the coach aware of as we wait for this to settle down a bit. But uh, KJ Chisholm, the other number five on the floor for Whale Branch. He's at the line as there continues to be a little bit of discussion trying to get things back in order here. Zaire Nelson giving a big high five to QJ Young who has to sit down probably just to gather himself because well, he took a shot. Yeah, anytime the trainer comes on the court, the player's got to come out and that's how that works. 3.33 to go. You take a look at Darius Brockington. QJ Young gonna sit down and get stretched out a bit. So they're communicating. Again, I know everyone likes a faster paced game, but let's just do it right. Uh, for Jones, six rebounds per game, a 56% free throw shooter. When we get there. Sorry, five is KJ Chisholm. That's correct. All right, back to KJ. Three thirty-three to go in the half. Not able to get that one to go. Rim around and a ring around the rim. It falls short. Thirty-three twenty-nine. Three minutes, 33 seconds to go. That's not going to go. Travel. 
And, yep. I heard you say travel. And that that's, indeed is the call. That's an easy one. As KJ Chisholm was able to call it, and he's a ball player. Even. Not a ref, but <laughs> he knows it when he sees it. Yep. He corrals the pass. Able to rotate a little bit. Get control of the basketball. 3.20 to go. He's going to try a three. Yay, that's a little bit high. 3.17 to go. A little bit. In the second quarter. 33-29. The guests from Whale Branch with a lead. And it looks like a timeout called by Bridges Print. We'll take it with him. Be right back after this. Late in the first half on WHHI Sports TV. Did you know that your brain is not completely developed until the mid-20s? Alcohol can negatively impact endurance, reaction time, judgment, and motor skills. E-cigarettes harm breathing, concentration, and your immune system. Marijuana affects decision-making, memory, and coordination. Misuse of pain medication weakens endurance, breathing, and heart rate. All of these can harm brain development and lead to addiction. Make positive choices. Don't, Don't let, let your team down. down. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Welcome back to the Bridges Prep Buccaneer Caffeinasium. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Jeremy Pope, Larry Jackamot. I'm pausing in between names to create a little bit of drama. There's a three, got it! At least I think that was a three, it was awfully close. 33-31, 2.55 to go, I guess it was a two. Be careful what you wish for, Marcus. Lots of drama on this floor. There's a three, left wing, too strong. And it's gonna be loose on the floor. Some extra note of keys as we've got a whistle. Keys to the game again for the guys of Whale Branch. Control the glass, no second chance points. Be a pest on defense, best energy of the year. Use it, play for each other. The team comprised of mostly juniors. They start one senior. It was ranked third. Uh, rather in the top 10 for three straight weeks. Talking about Antoine Wade and Wilbert Bryant's Whale Branch Warriors as there was contact inside. Two minutes, 39 seconds to play in a 33-31 ball game. And First half. We are in the bonus. I'm not sure how many fouls these stars are gonna have left. Everybody's hacking. Physicality at its finest. It really is. Most of the fouls are what you're describing, which is um, contact off of players competing for position. Right. Yeah, it's better than, you know, just people hacking at the ball. Tony Jones at the line. 33-32 as the first one goes. That thing was smooth. They, Dairy Queen wishes they could get that smooth. Ah, let's hear from Superior. Superior Services. Make the superior choice, too. Second one goes as well. And we are tied at 33. Larry Bird across the board. 2.33 to go. Driving inside, put that one up. Steph. As that was number 23, Bradford Thomas, the forward. 2.31 to play as it indeed was steps. Was Larry Bird your favorite Celtic of all time, being a Boston guy? No, sir, I'm There's too young. There's a jumper. Got it! Put that down. 36-33, it's a three-point play. Courtesy of Mickelson, knowing their community and clients as they help navigate life's trials. Gliding inside, missed the shot on the left was Whale Bridge, getting the rebound. There's a three. Oh, rock around the rim and put it down. Three point play, now numbers on the other end. No, we're tied at 36. Whale Branch taking it across the floor in a frenetic frenzy. And that didn't go. 
but there was some contact as Desmond Lock hits the, the linoleum. A lot of contact, you wear it, but you get the ball. Offensive foul. 1.57 to go, and I apologize. I said it was a tie at 36. It's 36-35 in favor of the guests from Whale Branch. Bridges Prep has a chance for the lead. There's a leader on the left side. Ring around the rim and down, and it's 37-36. Oh, gosh, that pass had a little bit too much spicy brown mustard on it. Courtesy of number five, K.J. Chisholm from right to left on your television screen, and it goes off of Whale Branch out of bounds, BP ball. 1.44 to go in, in the first half of regulation. There's a scrum, should be a jump. Yep. So you see that possession arrow on the table? That switches back and forth on alternating possessions. Every jump, as soon as the ball gets in the hands of this guy, the arrow switches, there it goes. 137 to play from the Whale Brand, uh, from the Bridges Prep Buccaneer Caffeinasium. We have also called it the Caffeinatorium tonight as well. Caffeinasium, Caffeinatorium, take your pick. That's going to go out of bounds. Jim Raymond, the AD for. One Bridges Prep. One point game. Oh, wow. Carlos Cave, the athletic director for Whale Branch. I meant to mention him in the girls game, but did not. Shout out to Carlos. So they're gonna figure out if he established front court. Uh, when he caught the ball, did he have two feet in the front court and then go to the back court? Nope. And they switched it. Good call, guys. Davina Smith is head of school for Whale Branch. And Gary McCulloch is the head of school for Bridges Prep, the CEO. That shot goes off to the left. Ball corralled by Whale Branch. One minute, four seconds left. First half. 37-36 in favor of the home team. Whale Branch is having trouble getting around the glue that Bridges Prep is putting on them, applying the pressure. Coach call a timeout. 55.2 seconds to go in the first half. We'll take it with them. Be right back on WHHI Sports TV. Come on back, y'all. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money. And who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Life is full of choices and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the Superior choice. Call Superior today. Welcome back to the Buccaneer Caffeinasium. 53 seconds left. Kicking it to the outside is Whale Branch. The Warriors with the ball. Warriors, Buccaneers. It's like the NFL and the NBA have merged with these two teams. The Golden State Warriors, of course, of the NBA and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers of the NFL. Just a reasonable comp that just came off the top of my head. 45.3 to go and at the line for Whale Branch is number five. Everybody's favorite, K.J. Chisholm. The masked man. Remember Rey Mysterio? Missed that one off the front. No, I don't. It's a wrestler who wore a mask. There's a three. Holy cow, that was deep. And it missed. 
35 seconds to go. A reminder of the Stokes Toyota of Buford Halftime Report coming up. Kevin and I will have our first half thoughts. Jessica Surrett, Michael Lind from Stokes Toyota no! of Buford. The shot missed. Second chance underneath. Put that one up and in. And one more coming from the line. A chance at a, at a Mickelson three-point play. Knowing their community and clients as they help navigate life's trials. And at the line for WB is number 22, Kevin Jenkins, the sophomore small forward, 38-37 in favor of the guests from Whale Branch. It's a 59% free throw shooter. And put that down to get that number up a little bit. Long pass goes into QJ, that jumper a little bit off the mark. Good to see him back on the floor. Second chance up, and I believe that was Tony Jones, number four, that put that second chance up. 20.6 seconds to play, and it is indeed Tony Jones, number four, going to the line to shoot a pair for the Bridges Prep Buccaneers. A 56% shooter and possibly the winner of best hair. Do you know how much money it takes a pirate to buy a corn? A Buccaneer. That's right. Oh. I should have said buy a thing of corn. But well, that's the air corn, it's fine. Yeah, I didn't want to wreck the joke. I pick up what you're putting down. Very nice. Ball loose on the floor. 14.8 to go in the half. 39-38, we've got a dandy. I tell you. The guests from Whale Branch, the Warriors, they have the lead by a point. Swash, buckle up. This is only halfway through. Indeed. Bridges prep, corrals it, puts it up with the floater. That's off the mark. Wow. Oh, put that down on the second chance. That's a Marion Wilson. 4.8 to go. His head pass is a little bit too strong. A little bit too much French's spicy brown on that ball. 4.8 to go. Yeah, timeout. 40 39, we've got a timeout. We'll take it. Be right back as we're just under five and a half on WHHI Sports TV. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Here at Island Tire, we like to provide you with peace of mind by using the best with Michelin tires. With 19 plants in North America, seven of those are here in South Carolina. Michelin makes it easy to support local giving because they provide the best quality, top leading innovation and service. Three things. Michelin and Island Tire and Automotive Services have in common quality, innovation, and service. Give us a call today. 4.8 to go. 4.8 to go here in the first half. Again, Kevin and I with our first half thoughts. Jessica Surrett and Michael Lynn from Stokes Toyota coming up in half, which is going to be right after this break. On WHHI Sports TV, it's the Summit Services Heating and Air Guys Game of the Week. At halftime, our score, Bridges Prep 40 and Whale Branch 39. The halftime report is next. Stay tuned. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hey y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the low country. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you. Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center and for Bluffton Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Mellichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton. Welcome in to the Stokes Toyota Buford Halftime Report here from the Buccaneer Gym Notorium and uh, or Caffeinasium, as I've been saying tonight. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby with you. We've got a great game here in the first half as we're at half 40 to 39 in favor of Bridges Prep over Whale Branch. And Kevin, this first half has been electric. I can't say it any other way. This this place might serve food, but these kids are playing hungry like they've never been fed. Look at the way they're fighting for the ball. 
we were talking about it. They're playing defense with their feet. I don't think we've seen as many fouls in the first half of a long time, which right. means basketball IQ is going to be the factor. Every one of these kids, shot selection, team defense, really demonstrating some excellent coaching. Who knows how the rest of this is going to play out? If it's half as fun as the girls' game, this place is going to be a madhouse. This has been a treat in the first half. What are some keys for you in the second half with both these teams? Obviously just a one-point game, and both teams really playing their hearts out here tonight. We're on pace for 160 points of scoring in a high school game. It's not 48 minutes like an NBA game. These kids are playing at a frenetic pace. I think the biggest thing is going to be possession. Talking about getting good looks through basically making your offensive plays and making your guards work. What I'm seeing a lot more of is transition ball, and obviously the great athletes are going to win in that situation. I think second half we might see some coaching adjustments and maybe a little bit more ball control. This is the first year of this rivalry. It's tied at one. It's going to be a big second half to see who gets the edge at the end of this one to end this 2022-23 season for this uh, edition of this rivalry, the three games with these teams. When we come back, we've got Jessica Surrett and Michael Lynn at Stokes Toyota Buford as the Stokes Toyota Buford Halftime Report rolls on right after this, only on WHHI Sports TV. It's the guys game presented by Summit Services. Here you can air. We're back after this. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. Mickelson Law Firm is in the heart of downtown Bluffton at 214 Bluffton Road and is experienced in legal matters pertaining to real estate transactions. Responsible for thousands of successful real estate closings here in the Lowcountry, owners and partners Tiffany and Ryan Mickelson place an emphasis on getting to know their clients and guiding them through the process. Your home purchase is the largest investment you'll make in your lifetime. Choose Mickelson Law Firm to help you every step of the way and in between. Hey y'all, welcome in. We are at Stokes Toyota Buford for your drive of the week. And I'm joined here by the general manager, Michael Lynn. Thanks so much for having us again. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. So let's dive right in. Let's talk about, you know, availability, like what you guys have currently right now on the lot. Yeah, so right now it's it's still very limited. Um, we've getting a few more. Uh, mm -hmm. Where last year we were finishing maybe with two or three on ground. Now we're finishing with six or seven. Um, so it's still a really, really tough market right now as far as availability goes. So if someone comes to the lot and they, you know, they look around and they don't see something on the lot they want, then what? Yeah, so basically that's to join the crowd. You know, no, no <laughs> dealer right now has uh, what people are wanting typically. Right. Um, but we keep all of our incoming cars posted on, uh, on the windows inside. Mm -hmm. So just come in, window shop with us. Um, and if we can't, if we don't have it coming, we'll try to get it for you. Okay, so they can kind of customize or find, you guys can help them find what they want and they can get it In a lot of cases, yes. It's, the availability is still difficult. I mean, I don't want to uh, paint sunshine and rainbows. Uh, <laughs> it is difficult. It's a difficult sure. market, but we would absolutely do whatever we can to help. And you guys have a buy ahead program. What does that look like? Yeah, so basically um, everybody has lists right now mm -hmm. um, because of the availability problem. And so we want to give the people the, the opportunity to say no first. Or yes, I mean, yes. if we got it coming in, so you, you get on our buy ahead list, uh, we call you and say, hey, this is what we got, and you get to say yes or no before it actually gets live on the market. And do they have to put anything down to be on that yep, list? Yep, it's a $500 refundable deposit. Um, that's so, nothing. Yep, that's just <laughs> because we, we, we start telling everybody no, yeah. you know, we just kind of want a little bit of participation. But it's like I say, it's fully refundable. Okay. until we find the car you're looking for. So. Well, that's fantastic, guys. Come to the lot, see what they have, uh, get on their buy ahead program, and they can help work with you from start to finish. And this is your Drive of the Week, brought to you by Stokes Toyota Buford. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money. And who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent 
Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Did you know that your brain is not completely developed until the mid-20s? Alcohol can negatively impact endurance, reaction time, judgment, and motor skills. E-cigarettes harm breathing, concentration, and your immune system. Marijuana affects decision-making, memory, and coordination. Misuse of pain medications weakens endurance, breathing, and heart rate. All of these can harm brain development and lead to addiction. Make positive choices. Don't, Don't let, let your team down. down. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. We welcome you back to the Summit Services Heating and Air Guys Game of the Week on WHHI Sports, the second half. And Summit Services Heating and Air, your leader in home performance services in the Lowcountry all year long. 4 p.m. at 7, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays for the WHHI Sports Weekends as missing the dunk to start the second half is KJ Chisholm. These games will air every night at midnight following the WHHI Sports Weekend airings. Well, that would have made a difference. Huh? That would have got this whole place jumping. Reminder that our halftime show was brought to you by Stokes Toyota of Beaufort. That three going to come up short by Bridges Brett. Nice rebound, putting it up and leaving it short. Second chance, put that down for Amari and Wilson. Stokes Toyota of Beaufort, your friendly community dealer for a truly exceptional experience. Thanks to Jessica Surrett and Michael Lynn for contributing to that as always. And here goes Bridges Prep and a leader on the right side with a layup. 44-39, 7.03 to go in the third. Yeah, that play was ready for the Super Bowl. Jude J. Young, 16 points. Zaire Nelson, seven points. Amari and Wilson is that missed. He got 23. Uh, rather, he is 23. He got six. 12 points for Sean Fields. Six points for Bradford Thomas. Foul trouble. Three each for Jones and Wilson on the BP side. Three for number 23 on the Whale Branch side. That is Bradford Thomas. As that shot goes, 46-39. And Whale Branch gonna drive inside. Oh, what a beautiful layup, moving from right to left, not able to get it to go. And Bridges Prep gonna have the basketball with 6.08 remaining in the third quarter. 46-39, that's gonna go out of bounds off of number 14, Braxton Lucas. You gotta have the ball to score the ball. The team that scores the most points usually wins usually the game. Usually wins. LaRon Wright, two threes. Number 20, Quashan Fields with a three. And David Evans with a three for Whale Branch. The Those are your first half stats, courtesy of Larry Jackamont and folks. Larry Jackamont, Jeremy Pope, and Kevin Libby alongside. I'm Marcus Walsh, that's not gonna go. 46-39, 5.47 remaining in the quarter. A reminder, our three-point plays brought to you by Mickelson, knowing their community and clients as they help navigate life's trials. KJ's having the game. He sure is. You'll have the MVP presentation with the MVP and the winning head coach following the action and regulation tonight. At courtesy of Island Tire, the longest serving tire retailer and auto repair on Hilton Head, an island tradition. This next one goes. Here's 
Bridges Prep driving inside, putting that one up, and it goes for number 10, Sheridan Kirkland. Or rather, Shadron Kirkland, I beg your pardon. So Shadron Kirkland with two there. There's a quick jumper at the other end that clanks off to the left, and the rebound goes to Wilson. Amarian Wilson grabs the board. 5.22 to go in the third. Here's Kirkland again. Big momentum moment here. Thought about shooting the three. 5-12 remaining in the third quarter. Loose ball, and QJ Young corrals it, turns it right over. Turns it over, and corralling it is Laron Wright. Wright with a heck of a move over top of number 14, Braxton Lucas. <laughs> Wright gives it off, and now number 20 into the action, Clashawn Field. Gets the two to go, it's 48-43, and the ball goes out of bounds. A little bit too much spicy brown mustard on the pass going on the far side. Aggressive passing. Aggressive and a little bit frenetic to start this quarter. Yep. It was 40-39, BP at the half. Lifting oh, wow. that one up and then putting that one down is number five, KJ Chisholm, and it's 48-45 with 4.33 to go in the third. That clanked off the side. A reminder, our timeout sponsor is Kevin Severe of State Farm for all your home and auto insurance needs. Kevin Severe of State Farm. 4.25 remaining in the third quarter. 48-45. I believe for Jones, that's his fourth foul. Only the third quarter. KJ Chisholm will take the ball across. He's got a couple of steps on a couple of guys, and that pass gets deflected. And on the play defensively was Shadron Kirkland, and as well, number five, QJ Young. QJ has been absolutely sensational. Yes, sir. He left the floor for a short time in the first half. His head ball is going to go out of bounds as Shadron Kirkland tried to corral it, could not. 4.08 to play in quarter number three. It's a little early to say this, but if you're thinking of a player to possibly award our MVP to because of the way this game is going, who are you thinking of? Uh, the three-point lead will be the home team. Uh, probably QJ Young, five. I would have to agree. There's a jumper. Oh, wow. put it down! It was awfully close to being a three, but the foot was on the line. So BP up by one, 48-47. Whale Branch on defense, sticking to QJ like glue as he swings it out to Matthew Torres. QJ three, that one a little bit off the mark. And the rebound goes to Whale Branch. They have a chance to take the lead. There's a laner and some contact inside as number 12, Noah Sh uh, I beg your pardon, I was thinking Noah Schaefer, but it's Laron Wright, the small forward. Junior, 6-1, a buck 44. 3.30 to go in the quarter. And we've got some substitutions coming in. Just for Grins, even though they're trailing by one, who are you thinking of on the side of Whale Branch? I like Branch a There's lot. There's a three. That's going to be short. And Wilson comes up with the rebound. I'm talking about for MVP. Yeah, I'd say Brad Thomas. OK. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. That one misfired. I, you said Brad, didn't you? Yeah, Bradford. I, Long way to go, man. You said Bradford. I heard Branch. That is deflected. Get that out of here. 3.08 to go. Bridges Prep going to lose the basketball. With it was Amari and Wilson, number 23. There is a scrum. And it's Bradford Thomas. And Zaire Butler, I believe, number 20, was on the Bridges prep side. Battling for it. And inbound is number 22, Kevin Jenkins. Set to guard him is Matthew Torres, number three. He dumps it off to KJ Chisholm, the six foot, 160 junior point guard. Nice pass inside, going inside is Thomas. And Thomas puts that up and in. He's the do-it-all guy, just like Thomas the Tank Engine. And while Thomas the Tank Engine was tall, uh, was small, Bradford Thomas is a tank. 
2.39 to play in the third quarter, 49-48. Looks like we're gonna have a timeout. We do, we'll take it. Be right back on WHHI Sports TV. Hey y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the low country. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you, Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center, and for Bluffton Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Mellichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Do you know that the amount of tire that's actually making contact with the road is about the same size as a slice of watermelon. And that's all you have to keep you safe. It makes sense to have the best like Michelin. That's why Allen Tire has been proudly selling Michelin tires since 1978. At Allen Tire, we don't think of it as just a set of tires. You can trust us to be thinking about the safety of your car and more importantly, what's inside. Welcome back to WHHI's presentation of the guys' game of the week. Oh, get that out of here! Holy moly! Guacamole on shelf number five. I don't know what that means. It just came to me. As Wilson got blocked by Kevin Jenkins. Wow! If you're at the grocery store and you want something from that tippity top shelf, I hope Kevin Jenkins is around because that kid's got hops. Absolutely. And if he's not around, Amari and Wilson could help you out. I tell you, these boys can get up. I like Amari and Wilson, man. He's having a heck Absolutely. of a game. You know I overly favor the bigs because I play the big, and I, I just love seeing a kid with this level of skill. Put it down. From the line, we are tied at 49. I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. <laughs> Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. And quarter number three. All deadlocked at 49 apiece. There's a tough pass corralled by WB. Oh, beautiful pass inside and going down low like a locomotive was KJ Chisholm for two. And it's 51 to 50. That's not going to go. And it's going to hit the baseline and go out of bounds. Speaking of 49, and now it's 51-50. What are you thinking for a final score on the Super Bowl? Oh, who knows, Marcus? Should be a great game. Uh, I like Kansas City by three. 45-41 Chiefs. I'm with you. Whoa. There's Chisholm not able to get it to go. Second chance not going to go for Kevin Jenkins. I'm thinking it might be in the 30s. I'm thinking like 34-31. Loose ball picked up. And Whale Branch has it. Oh boy. This is a runaway. Wow. End until number 23, Amarian Wilson, comes up and just absolutely swats that away. This is his house. And he's here to eat. Amarian Wilson and Bradford Thomas, both wearing 23. They are not really reminding me of Michael Jordan that much. They're reminding me of one LeBron James yeah. back in his days in Cleveland and Miami even now. But I think of him, of course, being the Ohio guy that I am when he was with the Cavs and hearing Michael Ray guy and Austin Carr and Mark Price and a bunch of other guys call their games. Oh, that was the glory days of television and then Cleveland gets LeBron back and of course they win their first title since the Cleveland Browns in 1964. That was back in 2016. A great year. There's wow. number 23 wow. fly into the hole again. Wow. Down and a steal. Bradford Thomas all over the place. Although making that steal is LeBron Wright. Everybody all over the place. There's a job. Oh, baby, put that down for Branch. That is number three, David Evans. 57-50. Whale Branch has taken control. There's a steal. Leaner from the left side to the right. Gliding hard was KJ Chisholm. 58 seconds to go in the third. It's a 57-50 score, Whale Branch with the lead. Bridges prep at the line, shooting a pair, number five, KJ Chisholm. 
The point guard junior, six foot, a buck, 60. Ring around the rim and out as James Williams gonna let him get back to the line, compose himself. Look, I also have subs. I know that Bay Street has those nice, you know, features by the water, but what we just saw here is a big swing. And got it to go 57-51. You are correct, sir. 55 seconds remaining. Nice kick out to the outside. There's a three. Snow ring around the rim and out. And Bridges Prep has a chance to get back into wow. it down by six. Their dribble in the basketball is going to hit the baseline and go out of bounds. 41.9 to go in the third. 57-51, Whale Branch over Bridges Prep. This place is rocking. I mean, it was a remarkable basketball effort, but you got to get your teammates involved. Glide to the hole, whistle as number five, KJ Chisholm dumped it off to Quashan Fields, number 20. The block is the call, but I love that's that's just good basketball. Guys are playing their positions well. And KJ Chisholm, number five, going back to the free throw line. My goodness, what a ball game. Got the first. Who's your favorite cartoon or otherwise character that wears a mask? 58-51. Darkwing Duck. That's a good one. I think while I prefer Superman as my favorite superhero, I think I gotta go with Batman. There you go. The Caped Crusader. 59-51. 36.6 to go. The Boy Wonder's not bad either. Talking about yeah, Robin. Yeah, behind the mask. And I tell you what. An acrobat. That, that animated series was off the chain. 32 seconds to go. Bridges prep on a drive, no. Trying to corral the rebound and not able to get it to go. Fighting for it is Zaire Butler. He's not able to get it to go. Going down on the long wow. side, intercepted. And going across the floor is Zaire Nelson. He left it short. Maybe should have taken another extra second. Now at the other end, gliding hard is number five. KJ Chisholm, we've got a whistle, we've got 10.2, and we've got a great ball game here in the Guys Game of the Week, presented by Summit Services Heating and Air, your leader in home performance services in the Low Country on WHHI Sports TV. Marcus, Kevin, Larry, Jeremy, we're all with you. Ring around the rim and in. Justin Jarrett is even here tonight for Loco Sports. 60-51, 10.2 to go. You asked for drama. We got a moment here where we get a double-digit lead for Whale Branch from their hero. Ring around the rim, put it down in and between the strings, just like the strings on a Carlos Santana guitar. That's going to go out of bounds off of number 10, Shadron Kirkland. Down on the baseline on the left side. 6.7 to go. Holy smokes. We plan to have Hilton Head Christian Academy and Hilton Head prep for you shortly here on WHHI Sports as well. Girls and guys, and if that's as good as this is, wow. That shot doesn't go on a leader from Shaquan Evans. <laughs> Put back. No basket. It will not count. 61-51, the lead for Whale Branch at the end of three over BP. We're back to the Buccaneer Gymnatorium next on WHHI Sports TV. Mickelson Law Firm is in the heart of downtown Bluffton at 214 Bluffton Road and is experienced in legal matters pertaining to real estate transactions. Responsible for thousands of successful real estate closings here in the Lowcountry, owners and partners Tiffany and Ryan Mickelson place an emphasis on getting to know their clients and guiding them through the process. Your home purchase is the largest investment you'll make in your lifetime. Choose Mickelson Law Firm to help you every step of the way and in between. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. 
It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Welcome back. A reminder that Kevin will have the Island Tire presentation of the MVP trophy. Talk with the MVP and the coach at the end of this one. It's 61 51, just underway in the fourth quarter. Whale Branch with the basketball in black and the lead. Island Tire, the longest serving tire retailer and auto repair on Hilton Head Island, an island tradition. And as well, Kevin Severe of State Farm is your timeout sponsor for all your home and auto insurance needs. We'll get some more reads in as we go here in the fourth. 7.27 to go in regulation. Whale Branch with the ball, losing it. Bridges Prep has a chance to get back into it, and that's not going to go for Bridges Prep as number two, Zaire Nelson, was driving, and number 12, Laurent Wright, I believe, was right in his back pocket. Nelson a little bit gimpy, but will go to the line to try to shoot a pair. While he does that, Let's hear from Superior. Superior Services. Make the superior choice. Skip the drive through Get something good to eat at the grocery store. Make a meal, baby. Wow, you mentioned that. Sunset Pizzeria was the food provider tonight. Jeremy went to Sunset. It was just like New York City pizza, absolutely off the chain. You said that you've been to Sunset several times, being that you are a former you for Tonian. I tell you what, there's nothing better. Sunset, thank you. Fabulous as always. And you said the whole experience dining inside there was very good as well. I like everything about it. First time having a Sunset pizza won't be the last when I'm in Buford, I can tell you that much. Here's a drive, putting it up, trying to get it off glass. Here's number five, QJ Young. He can't, I beg your pardon, it was KJ Chisholm looking at the wrong roster. My apologies, as that was a heck of a play. Throwing that ball up in the air was number two, Zaire Nelson. He actually went across the other side of the backboard to catch it. We've got a whistle at 6.51 and the ball's going back to Whale Branch. Their lead is 63-52. What's the key for Bridges Prep? They're down 11, still have some time left in this game. Gotta find a way to get back into it though. They got forced turnovers just like that. And it'll turn into a jump ball as there was a battle for it between number five, QJ Young, and number three, David Evans, the yeah. point guard junior. Coach Evans getting up slowly. Looks like we have a timeout. We do. We'll take it. Be right back on WHHI Sports TV, the Summit Services, and Heat, Summit Services Heating and Air Guys Game of the Week. Hey, y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the Lowcountry. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you. Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center and for Bluffton Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Melichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. Welcome back, fourth quarter. 6.34 remaining in the Summit Services Heating and Air Guys Game of the Week here on WHHI TV. That's a block. Holy cow, what a pass. Amari and Wilson threw it about the distance of the floor and it's stolen away. Evans gives it off and leader goes for number 12, Laron Wright. And it's 65-52. 
Needs some big time buckets. That's an off balance shot, a little bit off the mark, courtesy of QJ Young. And putting that one back up and in is number two, Zaire Nelson. 11 point game. 5.56 remaining. Driving hard is number five, KJ Chisholm. And he gets some contact down low underneath the basket. It's that time in the game when Chisholm and Wright are really taking over. The reality is you can't get the ball back unless you take it. And those guys are forcing the issue. Let's hear from Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth. Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth, uniting the community to promote positive choices. And sports addiction. Sports addiction. Your Bluffton Bike Sports and Fitness Equipment Store for over 20 years. Sports addiction. And how about Superior one more time? Superior Services. Make the superior choice. Talk about making a great choice. Mr. Wright for these War Whale Branch Warriors has been excellent. Plus they have their, uh, their masked man the drama that you asked for, Marcus, is present. Oh, man. 65-54, 5.55 to go in regulation. You never know what might happen in the next almost six minutes. Nice. At the line is KJ Chisholm. Nice rattle of the ball. A Little bit too strong, tipped up, tipped up, hot potato. And it's going back to Bridges Prep. I'm cracking myself up with the hot potato call as that shot won't go. Hitting the linoleum hard is number three, David Evans, but he gets back up. Everyone's been in sport. There's concrete under that floor and a lot of kids are hitting it. Here at the Bridges Prep Buccaneer Caffeinasium, Caffatorium, Gymnatorium, Gymnasium. Precursor to Era Real Hardwood. All four of them, yeah. Real Hardwood coming soon as well as other facilities in the area. And that'd be sports facilities for the rest of Bridges Prep Sports. Nice culture here though, kids Absolutely. are really into it. You know, I like seeing the, the fans out big time. Senior night, man, they're all here. Leech, uh, Lisa Richardson, Jeremy Pope, and a few others have been here for 843 TV, taking some B-roll, doing some stuff around the school. And uh, great to actually be here for an athletic event and a great basketball game. 535 remaining, your officials. Once again, in 28 years, James Williams, 43 years for Brian Shaw, Jeffrey Bolds with 10. That's 81 years of officiating. To become an official, go to highschoolofficials.com. You can get great exercise. Extend your friend and uh, contact list along with acquaintances. Earn some extra cash and uh, help out your community and the youth by serving it, by becoming an official. Again, highschoolofficials.com for more information. Free throw miss, courtesy of number 23, Bradford Thomas, 65-56. It's under 10 with 5.23 to go in quarter number four. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Jeremy Pope, Larry Giacomo with you. Missed them both. Rebound for Bridges Prep in the white and blue. Whale Branch in the gold, purple, white, and black. And that one will go as that pass was beautifully done from right to left, corralling it, putting it up and in is Zaire Nelson. 65-58, 5.17 to go. Where the basketball is KJ Chisholm. Stolen away! Bridges has a chance to get on a run. Ball loose, picked up, and put in! Underneath the basket by Matthew Torres. 65-60, five minutes left in the fourth. Torres has the right idea. It's a two possession game. You're at home, it's senior night, let's go. Five minutes to play in regulation. 65-60. Bridges prep continues to scrap, claw, and fight their way back into this one. They're doing it without Tony Jones, who's in foul trouble. It's been remarkable. KJ Chisholm at the line, shooting. He dribbles, spins, throws it up. There was a whistle. Violation. 65-60, five minutes left in regulation. And that one goes off the bottom of the backboard. Out of bounds. 
4.58 to play. Again, a five point lead for the Warriors of Whale Branch. The inbound underneath, putting it up and in is number 20, Pushon Evans. Pushon Fields. Slim Reaper. So Quashan Fields makes it a 67-60 game ball loose on the floor. Question was who touched it last? It looked to me like maybe Braxton Lucas, but it looks like Bridges Prep's going to retain possession, and they will. The inbound. Here's Lucas. Three. Left wing missed it all. Unfortunately, back the other way it goes, and that one a little bit too spicy for number five, K.J. Chisholm as a Bridges Prep Buccaneer getting up slowly. I do believe that was Braxton Lucas, number 14. The inbound, Whale Branch with the basketball, going underneath, Thomas got it to go. We haven't heard from Bradford Thomas in a while as he gets that bucket. 69-60, stolen away. Here's a rejection, <laughs> trying to go for the dunk was Quishon Fields. And BP says not so fast. 4.21 to play in the fourth. 69-60. Whale Branch with the lead, but Bridges Prep is continuing to play really, really hard. And they still definitely have a chance here at home. Can we get that on the highlight reel? Can that make a request? 69-60. I want that on the best of the year's plays. That was sensational. Maybe, well, maybe Justin Jarrett for sure could get it on the uh, loco highlights on the WHHI TV Daily News. I get that it's high flu season. That play was sick. <laughs> What's crazy is I think he could have finished the dunk. I think everyone in this gymnasium knew it. Remarkable defense. Here we Quishon go. Sean Fields at the line. Yes, sir. Nothing but the strings. 4.18 to play, 70-60. Bridges prep down 10. Throwing that one up, not getting it to go is BP. As throwing it up was Matthew Torres. 4.11 to play. And it's now imperative for sure that Bridges prep gets some stops on defense and make some plays happen on offense. 4.11 to go, it's still way too early to think about fouls at a consistent pace, in my opinion. At the line is number four, Taylon Lee for Whale Branch. He'll be shooting a pair. There's no shot clock. I mean, four minutes to go Fair with point. no shot clock. Let's see if they can make some free throws. First one goes nothing but nylon. Don't you love a great home crowd? Oh man, this, this crowd has been electric. Both sides, give credit to the Whale Branch folks too in both games because they've been absolutely electric as well. 4.11 to go. Coach Antoine Wade says this is a huge accomplishment, a huge accomplishment for us due to being in 1A. What's at stake? Game's huge for us to clinch the number two spot in the region. And 1A7, 71-60, going underneath, putting that one up and not getting it to go is WB. It's going to go out of bounds. 4.04 remaining. Get a reminder, you have the uh, MVP presentation coming up, courtesy of Island Tire. Island Tire, the longest-serving Tyler retailer and auto repair on Hilton Head and Island Tradition. That's the post-game report coming up. That's a little bit off the mark. You'll talk to the MVP and the winning head coach. Going inside, putting that one up and in. It's number five. Well done for QJ Young as the step went just a little bit, or rather the jump went just a little bit early. And QJ with a chance to try for a three-point play, courtesy of Mickelson. We'll see if he gets it. 71-62. Three minutes, 49 seconds to go. It comes up short off the front of the rim. Whale Branch going to take their time getting across the floor. Decision time. Got to be within five feet to get a count started. 
KJ Chisholm on a drive, threw that one erratically back to Bridges Prep. Prep on a drive, QJ lost it. And it's going back to WB, now it's going back to BP. Hot potato. 3.20 to go. With the basketball is Zaire Nelson. Kicks it over to Matthew Torres. 71-62. Prep down by nine. 3.07 to play. And a whistle yeah, with 3.05 remaining in regulation. Timeout, we'll take it with him. Be right back on WHHI Sports TV. Mickelson Law Firm is in the heart of downtown Bluffton at 214 Bluffton Road and is experienced in legal matters pertaining to real estate transactions. Responsible for thousands of successful real estate closings here in the Lowcountry, owners and partners Tiffany and Ryan Mickelson place an emphasis on getting to know their clients and guiding them through the process. Your home purchase is the largest investment you'll make in your lifetime. Choose Mickelson Law Firm to help you every step of the way and in between. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. So make it a combo. Combining your home and auto insurance could save you time and money, and who doesn't like that? Just call State Farm agent Kevin Severe and find out how you can start saving today. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Welcome back. 3.05 remaining in regulation. There's a three. Right white splash! Holy moly! Guacamole on the shelf with that Drano! 71-65! 2.45 to go! Now 2.40 to go. That was a Mickelson three-point play, knowing their community and clients as they help navigate life's trials. Mickelson, one pass, what a catch! But not able to corral it before hitting the baseline was number three. That's tough for Matthew Torres. 2.22 to play. You wanted drama. Look at Pink Pants with the, with the sign. I she, beg your pardon, 2.27 to play. I just like the way the fans didn't like the call. That's what a real home court gives you. Bridges prep on defense. They're gonna have to get some stops. Down 71-65. Oh, oh no! Oh. Dog! That was a big time three on the other end. Prep misfired, 74-65. And there goes Whale Branch, Alley, and the land. 76-65. Under two minutes, Whale Branch with the steal and the foul. Zaire Nelson from behind, getting to number 23, Bradford Thomas. All right, I'm gonna give you three choices. Do you want Leon Wright? Do you want KJ Chisholm? Or do you want Brad Thomas? We can split it. Gosh. They all did the, their own thing. Like they all contributed. What do you think? I know what I think, but I want to see if it is in line with what you think. I would split between Brad and KJ, and I'd give a special you know, mention to, to Mr. Wright. All right. How about you? Sounds good. I was just going to go by the slightest edge, Brad Thomas Solo. OK. But that's good for Bradford Thomas. I got Brad number one. I'm with you. I just think that it's undeniable that KJ Chisholm uh, was big in money time moments. They've, they've all been great. They really You're have. Right. They have. Team sport. 77-65. Bridges prep with a great effort tonight. 144 to go. But unless something crazy happens, it looks like they're gonna fall just a little bit short. On the drive. Oh, get that wow. out of here, says number two, Zaire Nelson. There was a little bit of 
extra adrenaline on that SWAT as going inside. And going down to the line is number 10, Gregory Gilbert. This Bridges prep team. And that girls game too. All four of these teams, very, very talented. Agreed. High scoring team. 90 seconds to go. 78-65. Prep, man, thank you for having us for your senior night. This was fun. Your house, thank you for having us in it. Gregory Gilbert again at the line. I can't wait to see this again, Marcus. I mean, what a rivalry game we're seeing here. Got that to go. 79-65, one minute, 30 seconds to play. Again, Whale Branch, a 50-49 winner back in November. And Bridges Prep, a 61-50 winner back in January. Whale Branch has this one all but wrapped up, it looks like, with a 79-65 lead and a minute 26 remaining in the fourth quarter. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Jackamont, and Jeremy Pope with you. Jeremy Pope, nice job shooting this game. It's a tight court. Absolutely. You can see as we come up with this inbound pass how close they are to Jeremy. Jeremy's right on top of the action. It's kind of a cool angle. Bridges with the basketball. There's a three deep and too strong. Whale Branch corrals the rebound. They're gonna take it across the floor. Put that one up and in as Whale Branch extends their lead 81-65. There's a whistle. You got 16 points, a minute to play. It's a chance for Marcus now to catch up. Marcus. It's been a fun season, Bob. We only got one more after this. We do have Hilton Head Christian Academy, Hilton Head Prep coming up. It's been fun. But we'll be planning on doing a whole lot more stuff. Check out the Marcus Walsh Show wherever you get podcasts. Check out Bruin Company as well. B-R-U-N-Company. My great buddy, Matt Brubaker from our Ashland University days. That's his podcast. Check them both out wherever you get podcasts. Yeah, Marcus was a guest on that about a month ago. And then uh, yes, indeed. the Marcus Walsh Show, the Marcus Walsh Show, all things national sports and local. 105 remaining in the ballgame. 81-77. 81-67. 58 seconds to go. Unless they foul, well, this will be it. Whale Branch. Working it outside and staying that way as it's going to go out of bounds. Looked like it was deflected off of Franco Pereira. No, it was deflected off of Whale Branch. So, not Franco. Going back, that's right. Going back indeed to Bridges Prep. 38 seconds left. There's a three. Splash! Splash! Tastic! And a three point play courtesy of Mickelson, knowing their community and clients as they help navigate life's trials. Now a pass underneath, put that one up, not getting it to go. Rebound for number 22, Till Beniak. 18.4 seconds to go. 81 70, Whale Branch with the lead. And they will take a 2 1 series lead. This is the final matchup for these two teams in the three games they've played this year. At the line, it is number 14 for Bridges Prep. Braxton Lucas misfired. And Whale Branch is going to get the rebound, and they're going to be fouled with 15.5 seconds to play. Varsity basketball, these boys scored 151 points tonight. Unreal. 15.5 to go, and there's a chance that we're going to see more. Trevion Blue is at the line. I like seeing some of the underclassmen get in there. He's a junior. Uh, I also really like seeing number 10, Gregory Gilbert. Knows how to use his body. 
He's a power forward. Is there he blue. Is. Nice rebound. And Gilbert got it to go. Gregory Gilbert, the center, with the soft touch. Eight seconds left. Bridges prep, going to try a three. Not going to go. Clanks off to the right. Three seconds left. They get the rebound. This will end it, and it's going to miss off to the left. The final score, 83 to 70. For Larry Jackpot and Jeremy Pope, I'm Marcus Walsh. Kevin Libby's going to wrap it up right after this with the MVP presentation and coach's interview, courtesy of Island Tire, the longest-serving Tyler retailer and auto repair on Hilton Inn and Island Tradition. Thanks for joining us. The post-game show is next here on WHHI Sports TV, the Summit Services Heating and Air. Guys, game of the week. We'll be right back. Did you know that your brain is not completely developed until the mid-20s? Alcohol can negatively impact endurance, reaction time, judgment, and motor skills. E-cigarettes harm breathing, concentration, and your immune system. Marijuana affects decision making, memory, and coordination. Misuse of pain medication weakens endurance, breathing, and heart rate. All of these can harm brain development and lead to addiction. Make positive choices. Don't, Don't let your team down. down. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hi, I'm Barry Edwards with Island Tire and Automotive Services. Here at Island Tire, we like to provide you with peace of mind by using the best with Michelin tires. With 19 plants in North America, seven of those are here in South Carolina. Michelin makes it easy to support local giving because they provide the best quality, top leading innovation and service. Three things Michelin and Island Tire and Automotive Services have in common, quality, innovation, and service. Give us a call today. Hey, we're back. We got Coach Wade, KJ Chisholm, Brad Thomas. What a game, fellas. Man, you guys came in here. This was their senior night. You guys held your composure, held the ball, finished strong. KJ, I got to start with you, man. Those shots were remarkable. How'd that feel? It felt great. It felt great. It felt good to come in there senior night and get a win. I mean, they were out here giving everything they got. You were controlling the ball. You were attacking. You were the man behind the mask tonight. How'd it feel to play the villain and succeed? It feel good. You know, broke nose, don't stop nothing. What rivalry, right? All right. You were killing it out there. I was saying it this whole night. Number 23, playing like LeBron James. But, you know, back in the day before he was wearing six. Seriously, ball handling, distribution from the post, unbelievable. Tell me how, if there's a kid out there that wants to play like that, how they can get there. Hey, hey just put your mind to it, whatever, and dream big, man. You just got to work hard and do what you got to do to get what you want. That's all. Brad, were you a big kid coming out? Were they making you play center and you worked out to play guard? Or were you a guard that got big? Well, I was, I would say I was a guard and got big, but it's like, it's both really. Because I've been skinny in middle school, and you know, I had got low, but you know. But you know how to use it, and that's half the game. Plus, you still have that skill set. Coach Wade, this has got to be a fun year for you guys. Tell me how proud you are, not just these guys, but this whole team. I'm extremely proud of these guys. It's a young group of guys. We only have two seniors, and these guys are both juniors. And this is my first year here at Well Branch, so I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be here. I'm extremely proud. And we're here in, in Bridges Prep. This isn't even real hardwood. This is a linoleum floor over concrete. Uh, they're going to build a real hardwood floor for you guys, you know, hopefully by your senior year. But this is a basketball town. These guys are making it happen. Again, Coach, you upset on senior night the home, the home team prep. Good job playing spoilers. Fellas, on behalf of Island Tire, for each of you, the MVP awards. Um, we got how much time left? Like a minute? Quickly. KJ, say what's up to your family. What's up, everybody? Long live Ducky. Mr. Thomas, how's the Thomas family doing? Hey, what's up, Grandma and all y'all, man? I love y'all, man. For real. All right, Coach Wade, anything for your fam? <laughs> hey, man, we got it done tonight, but I want to tell everybody that I love them, and this was for my Grandma Dove. 
you build a big family here. The culture is amazing. Uh, Branch, representing here tonight. Thank you guys for having us at your game. My name is Kevin Libby. Closing it out on behalf of our entire crew, Marcus Walsh, the intrepid voice, Jeremy Pope, our director and cameraman, Larry Jackma, giving us the stats. And for everyone that makes WHHI happen behind the scenes, thank you so much. We will be seeing you next time for WHHI Sports Weekend right here on WHHI Sports.